G'day everyone, welcome back to Panda Garage. My name's Matt. Um, first of all, apologize for the audio. I had my camera and it's in many weeks I've forgotten to check my bag before I've uh, gone to film and I've actually completely left the charges at home, the adapter for my phone to put the microphone on it. So I'm just gonna have to run off the phone today. But um, as you can see, I'm halfway through a project at the moment. This is a 2010 Toyota Hilux and we are installing a bull bar on it as we completely destroyed the front while well, it was in an accident and it wasn't my fault, it was uh, my uh, brother-in-law. So what we're doing is we've actually bought a second-hand uh, genuine bull bar for this from a 20, I think it was a 2010 or tw uh, 2008 model. And what we're gonna to do today is we're actually going to continue the process because uh, it took a bit of effort to get this front bumper off, but you're gonna check that out now. Sorry for the quality again, I was using the other camera and it was quite dark when I started doing the job. So join me here on Panda Garage today and we'll get started. So you guys watch the uh, whole front bumper coming off and then we'll start on pulling this apart to get it prepped and body panel damage taken out to uh, fit that bull bar on. So uh, roll the intro and then we'll uh, get stuck into it. <laughs> Okay, so this is the damage from the accident. So this was like a push bar. As you can see, it got pushed right into the uh, front bumper here. So we've got to remove all this damage. So what we're replacing it with is this. So this is actually a stock uh, Toyota Hilux front bumper or bull bar. Um, this one actually came with lights too. We got a good deal. So uh, he's going to be very happy with this. So we're going to make start tonight. Um, what I think we'll do is we're going to remove the crush bar first or the, the push bar. And then we'll remove the front bumper and then see what kind of damage we're dealing with. Um, and then I'll probably come back during the day and actually install this properly. So the video is a little bit crude tonight in terms of probably audio and just visually. But um, I'll try my very best to uh, show you how I'll pull it apart. But the main attraction, of course, is putting it on. So we'll um, just work this out. But I think there's a few bolts underneath for this crush bar and then under the front bumper here. So we'll uh, get started. Tip in our shape. As you can see, they got pushed right back. So we'll go on the other side and see if we can do the same thing. <coughs> then we uh, there's some bolts just up there on the front of the uh, car that we'll have to remove as well. Then we can take off this front bumper. All right, with a bit of effort, we end up getting this mangled mess off. So this part's done. We've got to remove these bars now. They're sticking out, they just sort of went together, but you can see the impact that it had. It's just punctured hole through everything. So, as you can see, that's actually part of the frame sticking out. So, I'm going to tidy this up, then we'll uh, start ripping this front bumper off. This thing is mangled. Okay. There you go, officially removed. So let's have a quick little squeeze. Battery's about to die, but as you can see. Gonna have to straighten those bolts out because that's where our uh, new bumper bar is gonna attach. 
or the bull bar I should say. But you can see a difference, see this side's perfectly fine. This one's been mangled and pushed right back, so it's gonna take a bit of effort to bend it back into shape. But everything else seems pretty fine um, that we're gonna to need to use. Um, so that bull bar has these big brackets on the back which we're gonna to attach to the ute. So that's where I'm gonna leave it for tonight. And then uh, tomorrow or um, whatever day I start this again, we're going to completely uh, start again and put on this new bumper bar, which is going to be awesome. So now you guys are caught up to speed. Um, this is what we're left with. So this side's fine. The car took a hit on this side. As you can see, this front um, bash bar is sort of all bent out of shape. But most of it actually is in pretty good nick considering... Got a little bit of a bend up the top here that's the support that holds the front bumper on um, these little plastic clips everything else is pretty much fine it just caught most of the knock low down so what i'm going to do now is i'm actually going to remove this front um sort of crash bar first uh because we're going to need this exposed to install the big bull bar so we'll get started on that this is just essentially a uh, 15 mil socket there's four bolts in total this side's a lot more dinged up than the other and then we're going to hammer out this side, get it straightened out, and then uh, go from there. So I'll speed you guys up and uh, we'll uh, get stuck into the panel beating. So now that has been pulled off you can actually see the extent of the damage we've got to bend that straight so it looks like that and so I'm gonna grab a hammer and we'll get started on straightening this out now we're getting there as you can see it's looking a bit better I think it's gonna take a bit more banging but what we might do is bring the bumper bar over and just sort of line it up with this and sort of see what we're needing to improve on. Because it doesn't have to be completely perfect, it just needs to line up with the bolt. Because it really, this was the only part that was damaged. The actual ladder bar is perfectly fine. So it was actually quite a lucky hit. So uh, we'll keep going. I'll update you guys once we're ready to uh, try the bumper. So we're starting to look a bit closer at being ready to go. So we've uh, got these plates here that are attached to these plates, both sides. What I'm going to do is actually try and slide it up into the these bolt gaps first on down there, as you can see, the, the ones on the side. I'm hoping that they fit okay. Otherwise, we do have these bolts that the uh, last owner had on here that we might be able to bolt onto this side part just to get it up um, then once it's up off the ground I can really focus in on locking it all into place uh, we're going to get a wiring kit for these lights as well these are Adventure Kings foggers um, you can buy a kit that's like pretty straightforward to install in this car which would be pretty sweet and then um, yeah this is going to start looking a bit more not like that anymore but more a bit tougher and stuff so it's got bigger wheels on it now as well. We used to have these puny little wheels. So he's uh, been going to town, getting new bits and pieces for this, but this is gonna fit this uh, very nicely. So I'm gonna lift this up uh, and uh, hopefully it all fits.
Beautiful. Yeah, it's got a bit of weight to it. So after a bit of mucking around, we're here. Finally got it all on the car, we got it lined up perfectly. I had to sort of um, smack it sideways to sort of align it properly, but we pretty much got it bang on. Uh, in the end, I had to add some extra bolts underneath. Uh, so it has the two, so it has that one on that side, that one on that side, but we've just added two more on this side and two more on this side. Oh, if I can find it for you, you guys. There we go. So they're the two there. So there's four bolts on each side in total. Um, we've got a bunch of extra parts that I think we're going to um, take out. Uh, I was reading the manual and it says to remove some of these things. They're just the uh, light switches. So this is where the dilemma is. I, we've got the clips for the old front bumper still on the car. Originally, I was going to chop the top part of this bumper to... Uh, fill in that gap and we still might do that because this one's a little bit bunk um, but I guess we'll find out because we could either run it without it and find something later on or um, uh, put this one on because I'm just debating whether or not to take these off in the end as for these lights down here here's got an indicator light and a marker light um, in the wiring kits I've been looking at there's only wiring back here for fog lamps these don't actually have any wiring. You've got to buy a separate kit for that. So just debating whether or not we end up removing these and putting in some uh, fog lamps later on. So I'm going to just have a bit of a look around and work out if we're going to chop this up or not, do some measurements, and then uh, we'll come back. So the debate is this. This car has guards on this side and then the inner wheel wells on this side, but the other side does not have any. So I'm actually thinking about taking these out because look how close... The clearance is on this tire um, I'm gonna remove these because first of all it hangs way too low um, and it sort of doesn't need to be here as such um, but we might put those mud flaps back on so I'm gonna remove the inner liner and then we'll come back so it pretty much looks like you unbolt the uh, mud flaps and then there's just all these little plastic plugs that hold it in all the way around so I'll get started on that and uh, check up with you guys in a moment so I've stopped it removing the mud flap, just trying to work out how these all plug in the base. So I'm thinking I'm gonna just rip this whole thing out now because the other side's already out after the accident. This side can go too because these tires look like they're gonna rub. It's just uh, working out how that's gonna happen. So I guess you're gonna see a time lapse of me uh, doing a lot of uh, R&D. So we have the liner out, as you can see. A lot was stuffed up behind it, so took a bit of effort. The camera died halfway through, so we're going to, uh, that's it there, get rid of the liner. So I think we might even run it without this top bit for now. I'll see if I could get it to work, but it did get damaged in the, in the crash, but we might be able to get it to work. Wouldn't hurt. This isn't going to get reused for anything anyway because it's uh, pretty banged up. So uh, we might give it a try, do some measurements and go from there. 
Okay, so this is what I've come up with. Not the most uh, cleanest thing on earth, but we're gonna do it anyway. So I've uh, marked out just a line across this top bumper with a few measurements. We're actually going to, uh, that one actually needs to be cut a bit further down that way, right to the end. So the I'm finding that the bumper measurements are slightly out because of the accident. Um, not by much, it's only like maybe a tiny, like a few, like under half a centimetre. But uh, this is just sort of a temporary fix for now. We can actually buy one of these plates to go in this little gap. Um, but I just wanted to see if I could do it because this bumper's toast anyway. It's completely cooked. So um, I'm going to get my hacksaw out. I'm going to cut this. I wish I had a jigsaw. It'd be a lot easier. But I've got to use the tools that we have. So I'm going to cut this up. And then uh, we're going to try and fit it on and see if it works. And if it doesn't, well, at least we tried. Well, that was an absolute struggle and a half. So, I've got a bit of a kink there because I accidentally cut a bit high. I was going to cut higher originally. So, I'm hoping that this bit isn't there. Overall, though, it's looking pretty good. So, uh, we'll try and fit this on and see what happens. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, this is the first time working on a four-wheel drive, so uh, hopefully we can do some more if you guys are looking for that kind of content. Um, yeah, we're just having a bit of fun. We're just learning stuff here, and uh, hopefully uh, I can find another piece to replace that little mess over there. But it looks pretty tidy overall. I'll put the number plates back on it, and we'll go from there. But uh, until next time, guys, my name's Matt. This has been Panda Garage, and next time... And next video will actually be the wiring kit for these fog lights. So um, that'll be a good thing to go through. Just waiting on that to come in. Okay, we haven't ordered it yet. Uh, but car's all back together now. We'll give this a bit of a test drive later on. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video.